Well, this year it's less like all encompassing. Like if you look at the set, there's not like a bunch of cobwebs and craziness. So all of our foolishness and shenanigans is um, going to happen in a log cabin. We're telling each other ghost stories. So it's been pretty exciting. And um, this is like the easiest um, Halloween I've had so far because there's no real big costume, no big... Shirley doesn't get pregnant this Halloween. Like there's a lot of... <laughs> So it's a calmer Halloween for Shirley this year. And you can figure out what kind of story, what kind of ghost story uh, or horror story Shirley would tell. If you just really think about who she is, you could tell. You'll figure it out. There is a, uh, a test that Britta gives the group, and there's different ramifications of this test. And um, us telling ghost stories has, has to do with the test she gave us. That's all I'm going to say. Because I want you to enjoy the episode. Mwah! <laughs> Nah, there's no more. That's all. Just two boss. I love trick or treating um, because I like candy. So I really enjoyed uh, getting to go out and people giving me free candy. So that was my favorite part. Um, didn't do a lot of dressing up. Uh, we grew up poor in Cleveland. So it was like grab a sheet, be a ghost again. Yes. So um, I was a ghost a lot. So I don't really have a lot of like, oh, I wore this kind of stories. But the candy was big in my world. Love the candy. Favorite costumes. You know what? Um, Allison is wearing something really beautiful in one of the stories that I just I saw her and it was like oh my god this gorgeous um, so I really like her costume in one of the scenes there's some hilarious Troy and Abed things coming Wow! and uh, just pay attention to to Pierce's uh, story pay close attention to everything you see because it is wowzers in every way happy Halloween